the whole back acreage here has changed. I guess nothing lasts forever. This is all dying off. Honeysuckles are moving in. I love the green moss so that's on the ground. I remember when this cedar tree was just little. I made the trail around here. You used to, be able to go around both sides of it. Now you can again. Some trees survived. I remember when that guy was a lot smaller too. It all has something to do with the environment. I'm not sure what. Something's causing all this. Pine sap. Leaking out of the holes. Trees have root rot and they're getting very brittle. Well, that one wasn't. Every now and then you come across one that got blew over by the wind. It's amazing how a group of trees like that will grow together. I'll just keep doing what I can do. Try to keep it all going nice and green. I think the ash borer got the best of these. There's another one. There's ten in this corner. That's not counting the ones that fell across the lane. The deer like it though. They seem to hang in here. As long as it stays thick like that, it's a good place for them to stay. When you've been a caretaker for so many years, you hate to see the damage, the environment, and man, looks like the deer enjoyed that little bit of stuff I put down for them, persimmon. They've used that path quite a few times. And that one, and that one. 